Porter, I found the body. Oh my god, he's still alive. I'm gonna have to call this one in. Hi, this is Officer Lewis. We have a code 19. We need an ambulance immediately. Yeah, we're at Benson Memorial Bridge. So what do you think happened? This is odd. What? A man knocked unconscious by a lake. Someone else must be responsible for this. Do you think it was premeditated? Nope. What makes you so certain? He has a wedding band on his hand. So the question is, where is his wife? Why is he the paramedics? Over here, boys. Over here, guys. Okay, we found him unconscious just like this. All right. Let me get the smelling salts. No IDs on him. He's waking up. What happened? We found you lying here and unconscious. Where's Debbie? Who's Debbie? She's my wife. Where is she? You were the only one we found, sir. Sir, do you remember what happened? No. No. He's probably suffering from brain hemorrhage. You're gonna be all right, buddy. You're gonna be fine. We just need to get you to the hospital. Go get the gurney. So listen, Richard, uh, well, listen, thanks for putting me up while the cops are investigating my house. Danny, what happened to you? You know, that's what the cops keep asking me. And I've been over it a hundred times and I just, I just don't know. I mean, last thing I remember is Debbie and me arguing. And the next thing I know, I'm laying by a lake and I'm surrounded by cops and paramedics. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Listen, I know I've asked you already. Richard, have you heard anything from Debbie? anything at all. No, I haven't heard from her. Are you sure you don't remember anything? No. I don't remember anything. Well, I'll let you know if I hear of anything, all right? I gotta take this. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. Hello? Richard, hi. We've got a problem. What is it? It's Danny's account. There's no money in there. It's just been totally wiped out. What? How? I don't know. I'm beginning to think that maybe she's not dead. She's nowhere to be found. Well, I know, but you know, her brother Patrick, he tried to stop me. Is he dead? Yeah, I am. Um... Left him to burn at his sister's house. He'd be so proud of me. But I, I just am getting this feeling that someone is on to us. I mean, maybe, maybe we should stop before this comes back to haunt us. Calm down. Nothing's going to come back to haunt us. And Debbie and her brother are dead, so we've got nothing to worry about. We've done this before. Nothing's ever gone wrong. But if you're feeling scared, maybe we should just settle down and lay low for a little while. You pick up Danny when he's ready. Just stay at your house. I'll keep playing the friend role and make it seem like nothing's changed. All right, well, for how long? A few months, maybe a year, so Danny doesn't think anything's up. Look, Jessica, this won't work every time, but this scam has made things better for us financially. Don't tell me you're going soft on me now, are you? No. All right. When we're done laying low, it's back to business as usual, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too, Jessica.
Yeah, so, you know, after we got done with the movie, just, you know, we were kind of bored. It wasn't a very good movie. So, you know, when we walked out of the movie theater, I thought that cop was giving me a ticket. Sweetheart, what's going on? Are you okay? You just seem like there's something on your mind. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Just staring like you know, you're really thinking about something. If I had something on my mind, Jessica, I'd okay. say I had something on my mind. Let's just, let's just no, you wouldn't, because you never tell me anything. Oh, oh thing. come on, don't be like that. You we don't. do this all the time. Can we just try to get through an evening and enjoy ourselves, please? Fine, I don't care. You don't care? Fine. Okay, you know what? Oh. Tell me when you're done. Great. Hey. Look. I'm sorry. I do have something on my mind. I'm trying to work it out, but I haven't been able to yet. I didn't want to say anything until I did. Okay? Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Richard. Hey, Danny. How's it going? Listen, <laughs> I know this is going to sound crazy to you, but I need to see if it sounds as crazy to you as it does to me, okay? I had a dream about Debbie last night. What kind of dream? She was being strangled. I mean, you should have seen her face. It looked like she'd seen a ghost, okay? And she just kept screaming. And then somebody ran her head into a mirror, okay? And that's when I wake up. Did you see who did it? No, no, I didn't see who did it, but I'm telling you, I think she was killed. Well, you haven't heard from her in over a year, so it's possible. But why are you having this dream now? I have no idea, but I'm telling you, something is trying to tell me what happened to her that night. I mean, just making this, my mind up about this as we're talking, but I've got to get back in that house. I've got to try to find out what happened to her. But Danny, aren't you getting ready to sell that house? That's why I got to go now. I mean, listen, stay if you want. I'm going.
Hey, Danny. Yeah. Come check this out. What'd you find? I'm not sure. What do you think it's from? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, this has got to have something to do with her, though. This is recent. This wasn't here before. And that date? Look at that. That's the date she disappeared. That's the date Debbie went missing. What about the other numbers? Can't be a phone number. It's only got six digits. Yeah, I have no idea about that one. I don't know. Do you want me to do some checking? Find out if this number has anything to do with a phone number? Find out if those six digits are similar to any phone number out there? Yeah, why don't you do that? Hey, and as soon as you can, just let me know whatever you find out, all right? Yeah, no problem. All right. Thanks. Hey, Danny, sorry to wake you, uh, I just wanted to call and let you know, um, those numbers, they weren't from a phone number. That's what you called to tell me? No, Danny, that's not all I wanted to tell you. I found an envelope on my desk with your name on it, so I opened it and I read it. I couldn't believe what it said. Turns out those numbers, they were about you. Richard, what did it say? Well, Danny, I can tell you what it said, but you're not gonna like it. Hey, Danny, can you hold on a minute? <coughs> Richard? Richard! Are you there? Richard! Honey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Something's happened to Richard. I've gotta get over there and see if he's all right. <coughs> <laughs> Richard, are you in there? Richard! I'm trying to sneak out the back. Put your hands up. I was just scared. It's okay. No, no words. Did you do this? No, I didn't do this. I had nothing to do with it. He was like that when I found him. I swear, I had nothing to do with it. All right, we're going to go down to the station until we sort this whole thing out. Hey, stop right there! Hey, buddy, where are you going? Jessica! 
up. Open the door. It's me, Danny. Come on, Jessica. Danny, what's going on? Listen to me. I think someone's trying to set me up. Oh, who would do something like that? I don't know. Listen, they're probably on their way over right now, though. So what we need to do is just lock all the windows, lock all the doors. Just get started on that, okay? Why, Danny? What? Right? what happened? Richard's dead. All right? He's dead. Oh, my God. Now listen to me. We need to get some stuff together for you and get you somewhere safe. I'll be right back. Get started. Dear Danny, I thought you would have figured it out. That paper with the numbers 452295 written on it is the last six numbers of your social security number. If you change the numbers to letters, you'll see that it spells Debbie. You tried to kill me, but you didn't succeed. I'm closer to you, Danny. A lot closer than you think. <coughs> <coughs> Rise and shine. Rise and shine. <sighs> Debbie. You Debbie. remember my name. You remember Where's... my name. Debbie, where have you been? Look at you. Look at you. All tied up, no place to go. <laughs> Debbie. And let me refresh your memory. You can tell time. Is there someone else? Because this is the fourth time you've stayed out this late. You know, this is the same neurotic crap that you always throw at Danny, me. Danny, I'm sick of it. And no. if I was running around, that's we want. Danny, right? no. If it's, Get out of the way. You know what? If it's another woman, then just confess oh, it. Be a real man.
would have been dead. Do you know what? You know what's more frustrating and more aggravating to me than you even trying to kill me? Was the phone call. Jessica, it's done. I killed her. She's out of our lives forever, baby. I love you too, Jessica. You're tied up in a chair and you still don't understand. Debbie, just tell me what's going on. Now I know you and I had our problems, Danny, but I never ever thought that you would try to do what you did to me. You've got to believe me. You've got to forgive me for this. Forgive you? Are you kidding me? Forgive you? See what I pulled out of your little girlfriend's pocket? Jessica, it's my ring. My ring. See my name in it? I had no idea that you did that. You gave it to her. My ring. You just gotta understand. It's different. I never would have done this. I can't believe I did it then. I'm tired and tired of the excuses, the sorries, the forgive me. Come on. I will I never. No. It's done. I it's found. done. I will never, ever forgive you for what you tried to do. Do you understand me? Debbie, come on. Tried to kill me Maybe. twice, Danny. Maybe don't do it. Now I'm going to kill you. No! 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 A missing link right here. What the hell is going on here? A dead body at Benson Memorial exactly one year later. Did you say Benson Memorial? Yep. Benson Memorial. That's so familiar. Remember the guy we found here who was unconscious? What was his name again? Danny. Danny. Danny, I remember in our notes he said something to the paramedics about his missing wife, Debbie. I bet you this is Debbie right here. So then if, if this is Debbie, then where's Danny? That's the million dollar question. I think we ought to find out, Miss Lewis. business. See you soon. Your daughter, Danielle. I need you to find Danny. You just want me to tell you where he is? Yeah, just find where he is and then just give me a call. Okay, yeah, I can do that. But here's the thing, Patrick, please, once you find him, don't do anything. Just Call me, okay? Yeah, I All can right. do that. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Debbie, it's me. Patrick. I'm right outside your house. Why? I'm following Jessica. She just went inside. What is she doing there? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. 
No, Patrick. Patrick, wait! Jessica, what are you doing here? Patrick, what the? Are you following me? Does it matter? Why are you here? And why are you with my sister's husband? Oh, so you're stalking me too. Jessica, just- Listen, Patrick. Don't you know that it's over? I love him. What I'll love even more is his money. So is that why you're with me? Oh, please. If it were about money with you, I would've been gone a long time ago. You know, I just felt sorry for you. You're just so pathetic. You're like one of those stray little dogs who just needs someone to love him. You know, at least with Danny, I'll be a much richer woman now that his wife is gone. Oh, your precious little sister. And then, I'm gonna do to him exactly what I'm gonna do to you. <laughs> Jessica. Oh. I went in to see what she was doing at your house, and she was dumping gasoline everywhere. We got into a fight. She just lost it. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. She pushed me down some stairs. I hit my head. I hurt my foot. And when I woke up, my house was on fire. My house was on fire? Are you kidding me? No. But you got, you're, you're fine. Yeah, you're... I crawled out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well then, so then you got out, then what happened? I mean, is she, tell me she's still in the house. I have no idea. I woke up and there was smoke, fire. Oh my. I just crawled out. Oh. All right, all right. So, I'm thinking like three o'clock tomorrow, Maybe we meet like 20th and Memorial. Yeah, I can do that. All right, all right. I've got to go talk to Danielle. I've, I don't know what, I can't believe this. Um, you're going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, go home, put your foot up, ice it, whatever you need to do, but don't go back to my house. I can do that. Okay, all, all right. right, love you. Love you too. All right, bye. Bye. Uh, nothing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I've got the address. Are you gonna tell me why you need it? Well, let's just say this is between me and Danny, okay? But I do want to know: Did you see him with anyone, anybody? As a matter of fact, I did. He was with a woman, Debbie. Did he hurt you? Thanks for the address. Debbie, I'm your brother. Did he touch you? Yes, he did. But again, this is between me and him. This is of no concern of yours. We are family. It is my concern. Patrick, this is of no concern of yours. It yes. is my concern. Do you want to know why? Why? That woman he was with is my girlfriend. I did everything I could to make the relationship work. She just acted like I was no good for her. She would go out, stay out late, every night. Eventually, I started getting paranoid. I started thinking maybe there was somebody else. I just didn't know who until now. What are we gonna do? You don't get it. You don't get it, Patrick. Danny tried to kill me. And now I want him to feel scared. I want him to feel paranoid. And I want him to know it's all me. Why do you want to remind him? 
because I don't even think he even remembers what he did to me that night. Wait, how do you know that? Because the night of the lake, I came to and I ended up hitting him pretty hard over the head with a stick. So hard that he was knocked out and I don't even think he even remembers what he did to me. But I'll tell you this, anybody gets in our way, we'll set out clues, whatever we have to do, but nobody's gonna know you and I are in on this. And then I'm gonna help him bring his memory back. And when I do, I'm gonna kill him. Mom, why would that try to kill you? I don't know. I think that maybe he was afraid that I would find out who he's been messing around with. But I do think that she wanted Dad to kill me. But just know this, that his days of messing around on me will come to an end. My mom, it's been a month since then. He gonna move out of state. He's still here. How do you know? Well, I hired someone to follow him. And he knows where Danny is. understand. You don't understand. He not only hurt you, but he also hurt me and this entire family. He's destroyed all of this. I hope we don't do something we'll regret. Sweetheart, sweetheart, just know that if anything, and I mean anything happens to me, I just want you to know that I'll always, always I thought you could get away with it. I know you killed my mother. We have unfinished business. See you soon. Your daughter, Danielle. All right, Porter. This is the house that they said they saw someone with a mask and a hoodie go in. Do you think this is house tied in with Danny? I don't know. Do you trust the guy? Yeah, I trust the guy. He never let me down, not once.
can never wake up. Danny! Danny! Are you in here? Ha, 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 ha,